Hey friends, welcome. I'm Kate. And if you practice the move four, then it's awesome to have you back. This is a rise and shine good morning yoga class. So we're going to wake our body up after a long night's rest. We're going to move really sweetly in the beginning and then build some energy so that by the end of class, you're going to be feeling amazing and ready to own your day. So if you practice this class and you like it, give it a little thumbs up and subscribe if you want to practice more yoga together. But when you're ready to feel good, let's go ahead and get started. All right, friends, let's start our morning off really sweet in child's pose at the back of our mat. So knees wide, big toes come to kiss, and we will fold forward. Just starting off nice and sweet. Close down the eyes, let the neck be heavy. Feel supported here. Start to just listen to the rhythm of your breath. And then start to deepen it. So big inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Gentle with the eyes, gentle with the brow. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time. Inhale. Sigh it out. And then let's seal the lips and inhale, exhale through the nose. Now palm your hands forward just to make this a little bit more of an active child's pose. And palm them forward until your elbows come off the mat. And then crawl both hands over to the right side with your left hand on top of your right hand. Then send your left hip back onto the heel. Nice little side body stretch. Place your right forearm on the ground and then inhale your left arm up like the wing of a bird. Nice and easy. And exhale, close it down. Three more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Let this be expansive, explore new space. Inhale up, exhale down. One more, inhale up, exhale down. Crawl your hands to the center of the mat. One breath here. And then crawl your hands over to the left side of the mat. Your right hand comes on top of your left hand and send your right hip back onto your heels. Breathe into your side body here. Just waking up the body. Place your left forearm on the ground. Inhale your right arm up like the wing of a bird. And exhale down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. One more. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Call your hands to the center of the mat. One more breath. And then we'll crawl our hands back towards our body. Come up to a seat. Just an easy one. And we'll inhale our, our shoulders up to our ears and then exhale them down the back. Just nice and easy as we begin. Inhale them up, exhale them down. A little bit bigger now. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. This one's different. Inhale both arms up, reach up. And exhale through cactus arms. Pull your elbows back behind you. Pull your chest up towards the sky. Whew. 
Inhale, arms up. And exhale your elbows all the way down into your fingers, graze the floor. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, all the way down. One more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, all the way down. This one's different. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right arm comes behind you, left hand comes to your knee, twist to the right. Make this nice and easy. It doesn't need to be super deep as we wake up the body. And then inhale through center. Arms come up. And exhale, switch it out. Twist to the left. And then come to neutral. Palm your hands back out into a child's pose. Partake your knees a hip distance apart. And we'll just inhale up to tabletop. And then exhale, child's pose. We'll find this movement a few times just to warm up the shoulders and the hips. Inhale up to child's, or excuse me, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Maybe you find a little bit more movement. Maybe you go past your hands with your shoulders. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Maybe you start to come through a tabletop and shine your chest forward. Then exhale, child's pose. Maybe on this next one, you inhale all the way up and come into a sort of up dog with your chest shining forward. And then exhale it all the way back. Child's pose. Last time, just up into tabletop and we will stay here. So inhale your right arm up towards the sky like the wing of a bird. And then exhale, needle your right arm through your left hand and your left leg. The right shoulder comes to the ground for a shoulder opener. Your left hand can crawl forward straight, wrap back behind your back into your right side pocket. And you might want to crawl your hand, your right hand forward, up or down a little bit. Feel that sensation. Find one that feels good in your body this morning. And then release your left hand back down onto the mat. Inhale your right arm back up, reversing it. And exhale, right hand meets mat. Inhale, your left arm reaches up towards the sky. And exhale, needle it through your right arm and your right leg. Your right hand can reach forward straight or wrap back behind your back, reaching into your left pocket and spiral your chest open. Nice, keeping even, even breathing here. Release your left hand, press it back onto the mat. Inhale, your left hand up. And exhale, replace it onto the mat, tabletop position. And then walk your hands forward. Come all the way down onto your stomach. So zip up the legs, big toes kiss. Lift your knees off the mat your hips pushing into the mat, your hands on their fingertips off the mat. Then inhale, rise. Neck is the last thing to come up. And exhale, lower, oscillating cobra. Inhale, chest rises, active with the legs. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. One more. Press into the toes a lot. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Hands float behind you. We're going to incorporate a little bit of work here. Inhale, locust pose. So knees and 
feet off the floor, chest off the floor, shine it forward. Your gaze is in front of you about two feet. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Your right arm comes out like a T. And then roll onto your right side. So your right arm is behind you. And then your left hand, your left leg comes up like a kickstand. And reach your left arm up towards the sky or back behind you. Big chest opener in the front. This can feel really good after a long night's rest. Breathe deep here. Three, two, one. Exhale, come on to your stomach. Reach your left hand out like a T. And then roll over onto your left side. And bring your right leg up like a kickstand. And if you're having trouble balancing, move your hips up towards the long edge of the mat. Spiral the chest open, reach your right arm up towards the sky and back behind you, open through that left side of your chest. For three. For two, for one, roll back to center. Come up to tabletop, tuck the toes, ground into your hands a lot, each knuckle of the finger, and then send your hips back in space, then up into downward dog. First downward dog of the day, pedal it out. And you can exaggerate your pedals as well. So really bend into one leg, then the other. Maybe you come out of it completely and then come back in. Maybe you inhale onto tiptoes and then lower your heels. And we'll find some movement together now. So inhale, ripple up to plank. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, ripple to plank. Exhale, downward dog. One more time. Inhale, ripple to plank. Hold for five, push the four away for four. Knit the hip bones up towards the ribs for three, for two, and one, downward dog. Take one big inhale here, and exhale it out, and then step your right foot in between your right hand and your left hand. Back knee meets the mat, untuck the back toe, press into both hands, inhale, or press into both feet and inhale, both arms up. Low lunge, Anjane Asana. Exhale, peel the chest open. Cactus pose. Whew. Hands meet the mat and send the hips back in space. Straighten through that front leg. Dorsiflex your foot back at you. That's going to bring that stretch down your hamstring and your calf. And since this is the morning time, we're going to play around in this, with this transition. So even in this half splits, maybe your knees bent, maybe you take pulses here or sway side to side. And then we'll take some rounds here. So inhale, rebend your leg, shine the chest forward, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, low lunge, rebend the front leg. Exhale, half splits. Maybe you close your eyes and move with your breath. Inhale, low lunge. 
Exhale, half splits. One more time. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, re-bend the front leg, plant both hands, and step the right foot back to meet the left foot, knees on the mat, and lower either halfway down or all the way down through your chaturanga or cobra pose. Inhale to up dog, and exhale, down dog. And pedal out your downward dog as we create more space in the body. And then step up to meet your hands. Whew. Inhale to a half lift, long spine, contract the shoulder blades behind you, really intentional. And then exhale, fold it in nice and slow, Whew. nice bent legs. Inhale all the way up to standing, root to rise, your arms reach up. And exhale, hands to heart center. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, reach up, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, shoulders back down your back. Exhale, step back to plank, knees on the mat. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One breath in. One breath out. On your inhale, step your left foot up in between your hands. Back knee meets the mat and untuck the back toe. Press into both feet. Inhale your arms up. And on your exhale, sink your hips in. Find space here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, peel yourself open, cactus pose. Hands meet the mat and straighten the front leg. Hips go back in space. Half splits, dorsiflex the foot back at your face. Find that same playful movement or new movement on this side. Just waking up the hips. So maybe sway side to side, or you pulse in and out. And then we'll take some rounds. So inhale, re-bend the front leg, shine the chest forward. Exhale, straighten, half splits. Inhale, re-bend, shine the chest forward. Exhale, half splits. Inhale. Rebend, shine the chest forward. Exhale, half splits. Last round. Inhale, rebend, shine the chest forward. Exhale, half splits. And then rebend the front leg. Tuck the back toe. Step your left foot back to meet your right foot. Knees on or off the mat here. Exhale, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, hips rise, down dog. Beautiful. <sighs> Inhale, your right leg up. Bend at the knee. Foot comes toward the glute and take hip circles. So draw big circles with your knee for three, two, one. Plant the right hand in between your hands or the right foot between your hands. Back knee meets the mat, untuck the back toe. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, through cactus. Hands meet the mat, shift the hips back. Exhale, half splits, straighten the front leg. Inhale, re-bend the front leg, we're adding on. Tuck the back toe, press into the feet a lot. Lift the back knee. Inhale, crescent pose. Reach up on your inhale, and on your exhale, sink the, hip, hit the hips in. Inhale, reach, and exhale, hands plant. Step the right foot back to meet the left foot. 
knees on or off the mat. Exhale through the chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, hips rise, downward dog. Inhale, your left leg up. Bend at the knee. Bring the foot to the glute and draw big circles with the knee. For three, two, one. Then step between your hands. Back knee meets the mat. Untuck the toe. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale through cactus. Peel the heart open. Hands meet the mat. Exhale, shift back, half splits. Inhale, rebend, shine the chest forward and tuck the back toe. Back knee lifts, press into both feet. Inhale, crescent pose. On your exhale, sink in. Strong crescent here, one more breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands meet mat. Step the left foot back to meet the right foot. Knees on or off the mat here. Take your flow. Exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pedal it out here. We're going to add one more sequence on to that. So inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Back knee meets the mat. Untuck the back toe. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, through cactus. Hands meet mat. Hips go back. Half splits. Inhale, rebend. Tuck the back toe. Lift the back knee. Crescent pose for one breath. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. And try to get your hips in line with your front knee. Inhale, exhale, we'll find some movement here. On your inhale, straighten the front leg, arms come up overhead, palms kiss. Exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, straighten, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, reach the right arm forward and tip over into trikonasana. Hips in line. Shoulders stacked, arching up and over like a rainbow. Big breaths here. Inhale, warrior two. Rebend the front leg. We're going to switch our hips, so ground through your feet. Inhale to crescent, your hips face forward, both arms up. Straighten both legs. Shorten the stance a little bit if you'd like. Pyramid pose. So feel free to have a micro bend in this front leg. Take pulses with the back heel. And then rebend your front leg, both hands on the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left foot. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You never have to take vinyasa if you don't want to. You can always press to downward dog directly. Inhale, your left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Back knee meets the mat. Untuck the back toe and inhale, arms up. Exhale, peel the chest open through cactus. Hands meet the mat. Shift the hips back in space, half splits. Inhale, rebend the front leg. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Inhale, arms up to crescent. Stay for a breath. And then peel open, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Palms come to kiss overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten and kiss. Exhale, warrior two. One more. Inhale, straighten, palms kiss. 
Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, reach forward and tip into Trikonasana triangle pose. So your hand on a block, the floor, or by your thigh or calf, your right arm reaching up. Breathe. And then inhale, warrior two, rebend the front leg. We're gonna switch into our hips facing forward. So ground down through the floor, activate the core, and then inhale, crescent pose. Back heel pops, hips facing forward. You can shorten the stance or bring your hands down first. Shorten the stance and straighten both legs, pyramid pose. You can have a micro bend in your front leg and pop your back heel with your breath, just finding additional territory to move into. Rebend the front leg, plant both hands firmly. Step the left foot back to meet the right foot. Straight into downward dog or exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One final breath in our last down dog of the class. And then lower our down onto your knees. Keep your hands in front of you and we'll melt our heart into the ground. Poppy pose. So crawl your hands out as wide as the mat for less intensity or for more intensity, crawl them together. Five more breaths here. Nice, slowly, slowly walk your hands back towards your body. We're gonna sit down all the way on our glutes and our feet, bottom of the feet come to touching in front of us. Baddha Konasana, so butterfly pose. Inhale to a long, long spine and exhale, fold forward. You can grab onto your ankles and press your elbows into your knee. What's most important is a long spine. So instead of trying to get our nose to the floor, inhale to that long spine and try to get your navel to the floor. But it's early. It's the morning time, so go easy. Let your body open up with your breath. Option to come out of your butterfly pose on your inhale, expand, and on your exhale, deepen. Let's try it. Inhale, expand, exhale, deepen. Inhale, expand, exhale, deepen. Two more, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, come up, all the way up, extend both legs, just a simple straight leg forward folds. You can have your knees bent generously. We're just gonna walk our hands forward. You can pedal it out here. Flex your feet back at your face to feel the stretch in your calf and the bottom of your foot. It's important to keep them healthy too. And then 
inhale, come all the way up to a long spine. Take an easy seat. Bring one hand to your navel, the other hand to your heart space. And just have a deep sense of gratitude for you showing up for yourself today, for your mobility, for your health, any health that you have, meaning your eyesight, your hearing, your taste, your smell, all of those things that make life so vibrant. Prayer hands to your third eye to bless our thoughts. Prayer hands to your lips to bless our words. And prayer hands to our heart to bless those we love and ourself. Namaste, sweet friends. If you'd like a sweet 10-minute meditation class, there's one in the description as well as lower body stretches or upper body stretches if you want a little bit more of a cool down or specific classes. Have a great day, friends.